This film is set in 1989. The scene shows a man driving an old car suspiciously around the streets. There is a boy named Martin daydreaming in front of his house. Meanwhile, Martin's mother inside the house is very worried about him because he has a physical condition where he cannot feel pain. So if Martin gets cut by a knife or gets stabbed by a nail, he wouldn't be able to feel any pain at all. Suddenly, the mysterious man driving the old car approaches Martin. This mysterious man is named Graham. He persuades Martin to come with him. Martin, being so naive, agrees to go with Graham. Suddenly, Martin's mother no longer sees her son in front of their house. She is very worried because Martin disappeared so mysteriously. Graham takes Martin to his place, which used to be a place for animal factory. However, it is now closed down due to bankruptcy. Graham shows Martin a beautiful woman who is hanging. It turns out that Graham is a psychotic and crazy person. After that, Graham tortures the woman in a very sadistic way in front of Martin. Martin is shocked by what he sees. Martin then runs away from the place and tries to escape from Graham. Unfortunately, Graham manages to catch Martin. Five years pass after that tragedy. There is a beautiful woman who has just got off the bus. This beautiful girl's name is Allison. She is from Chicago and is on vacation to her uncle's house. Not long after, Allison was picked up by her uncle, Jonathan. Upon arriving at Jonathan's house, Allison was greeted by her Aunt Karen and her cousin Wendy. Her uncle's house was not far from the place where Graham, a crazy psychopath who likes to torture women, lived, making Allison have to be careful not to be kidnapped by Graham. That night, Graham kidnapping another woman who would become the object of his obsession. The woman he kidnapped was named Melissa. The next day, Allison, who had just spent the night at her uncle's house, went jogging while taking a look around the area. On her way, Allison saw the building where the psychopath Graham lived. When she looked towards the old building, she suddenly saw a child behind the window and the child was Martin, the boy kidnapped by Graham five years ago. Upon seeing this, Allison continued her jogging activity. Suddenly, a big truck was heading towards Allison. She fell and almost got hit. Then, Allison was helped by a man named William. Allison, who had a slight injury on her hand, was finally taken home by William. Meanwhile, on the other side, Graham resumed his crazy actions. He tortured the woman he had previously kidnapped. Before he started his actions, Graham always encouraged Martin to follow what he did. Martin, who had witnessed Graham's crazy actions for the past five years, became increasingly influenced. And the seeds of psychopathy began to inhabit Martin's personality. In the last five years, Graham had indoctrinated Martin so that Martin could become his successor. After that, Graham began to torture his victims horribly. When Allison was touring around with her uncle, she told him about a boy she saw in an old building. Jonathan then explained to Allison about the old building. As explained at the beginning, the old building where Graham lived used to be an animal factory and it belonged to Graham's father. Graham actually didn't want to continue his father's business because he didn't like it. But because of pressure from his father, Graham was forced to continue his father's business. And because of his damaged mental state caused by the pressure from his father, he became stressed and insane. As usual, day by day, Graham kidnapped women to be used as torture victims. And that activity was always witnessed by Martin. Meanwhile, Allison had made a new friend in her uncle's village and was taken for a ride by William in his car. They both relaxed in that place. But unfortunately, their activity had to be stopped as they were caught by Allison's uncle. Allison was taken home by her uncle. The next morning, Allison resumed her routine, which was jogging in the village. While jogging, Allison saw Martin behind the old building again. Curious, Allison intended to approach the child. When Allison was about to enter, Graham suddenly came out with his old car to look for victims as usual. Allison was almost caught by Graham. When Graham left, Allison entered the old building. She saw Martin and chased him. 
But here, Martin kept avoiding Allison. Allison saw mysterious objects inside the building. Allison also found a list of missing persons who were Graham's victims, including the missing child kidnapped by Graham five years ago. Allison intended to bring Martin out of the building, but suddenly, Graham who had returned hit Allison until she passed out. And Graham said, Good work. After regaining consciousness, Allison was tied up like the previous victims. Meanwhile, on the other side, Jonathan and Karen were very worried because Allison had not returned home all night. Jonathan intended to look for her, while William, who also didn't see Allison, wanted to find her too. During his search, Jonathan decided to search the old building. When Allison heard Jonathan's voice, she screamed. Jonathan who heard Allison's scream intended to enter the building. However, Graham suddenly shot Jonathan with his gun. Because Allison was making so much noise that it could be heard outside, Graham put her in a soundproof cooling room so that people outside could no longer hear her screams. After a while, William saw Jonathan's car stop in the yard of the old building. Curious, William entered the building and saw Allison trapped in the cooling room. William tried to rescue Allison. But unfortunately, Graham, who saw the action, immediately killed William in front of Allison. Meanwhile, Allison was still trapped in the cooling room and tried to escape. When she succeeded, she saw Martin with a knife in his hand. Martin looked weak because he had lost a lot of blood. Allison and Martin quickly left the old building. Meanwhile, Graham went to Jonathan's house and delivered Jonathan's body to his wife, Karen. Yes. <laughs> oh, please don't. Have to. Here, Graham also stabbed Karen in the stomach. Then, Graham placed Jonathan's body next to Karen, who was dying. After that, he burned the house. Allison and Martin, who had left the old building, intended to go to Jonathan's house looking for help. When they arrived, Allison saw her aunt and uncle who had died because of Graham's actions. She then placed Martin, who was also dying, in the corner of the house. Allison knew it was Graham's doing and went to Wendy's room. When she saw Graham, Allison managed to stab him multiple times with a knife. Despite being in pain, Graham managed to escape from the house. When Allison called the police for help, Martin suddenly stabbed her, and Allison had to die in the house. After Martin left Jonathan's house, where everyone inside had died and the house was on fire, he returned to the old building to meet Graham. It turned out that Martin was sick of what Graham had been doing, so he killed Graham. The next day, the police saw Jonathan's house burn to the ground, with bodies inside. The police identified that the incident was caused by a gas leak, so the people in the house couldn't get out and died in the fire. Five years after the incident, Martin, who had grown up, continued what Graham had been doing in the old building. He became the psychopathic successor to Graham when a young woman entered the building. And the movie ended.